Conan Gaze Jurassic here today. We're back to Gotham Knights. Listen, if you were worried about your dad, I wanted you to know he wasn't covering for the Court of Owls. He solved some of these cases. Quite a few of them. He was fighting the court even if he didn't know they were. Should have known that. I just thought... Maybe I didn't know him as well as I thought I did. You needed proof. Just like Bruce would have. Should have found it earlier. I was Oracle. I had access to every computer system in Gotham. How could I have missed something as big as the court? You mean, how could you have missed an evil secret society that's kept itself hidden from everyone, including your dad and Batman, for literal centuries? That sounds like something Dick would say. Thanks. So, now can I help with the murder dollhouse? Sure. Yes! <laughs> So it's been a while since we played as Red Hood, so we're going to swap back to him and go find Detective Montoya. Alright, so before we talk to Detective Montoya, by the way, we have a brand new outfit for Red Hood. Looks pretty cool. We got it from the Court of Owls on the last episode. You're not actually able to change customization to what you had before, appearance-wise, but I kind of like this new look anyways. Montoya, give me some good news. I've got enough evidence to lock Kane up for years. It's the warrant that's the problem. Is the judge giving you a hard time? I've been to see every judge I know, and no one will sign it. They're scared. Even if they don't know about the court, they know not to mess with Kane. What about Judge Moreno? She's put away some interesting people. Gotham's old money types. Elena was one of the first names on my list. But I guess things got bad over that whole Chelsea Tunnel case. She's gone into hiding. Did you forget what I do for a living? I'll ask around, find some upstanding citizens to point me in the right direction. Get that warrant signed, and you know I'll serve it. Thanks for keeping an eye out for us. You're welcome. That mean we gotta beat up more people and get interrogation going on? All right, well this kind of looks like a mob showdown, right? Whoops. Was not very stealthy. All right, so we do have a big one that we got to deal with. Woo! You almost hit me. I'd say, who actually taught you to fart? Yes! Lock and load. All right, we got rid of the big one. Now we're gonna take on the rest. Hold on, can I actually interrogate you? Don't you ever. Oh, doesn't want to actually grab onto her. All right, fine. Narrow it down to one, and if we can interrogate the last one, then we'll be good. Oh, shit. All right, so that's just a strike and throw. Can't do anything with you. Oh, you can actually defeat people by tossing them? Get off! This is just laying on the ground the whole time. There we go, interrogate. I'm looking for Elena Moreno. She's a judge. You gonna tell me where she is? Yeah. Look, we're not crazy enough to cross the people who want Moreno dead. But the regulators, they've been bragging about a big protection job. Was that so hard? Hey, Bell I feel like we got the information we needed. It's got nothing to do with Moreno. But they mentioned something interesting with the regulators. Good work. Hopefully we'll find Moreno soon. So basically we learned last time all you got to do is ping the ground here and look around the world and you should see like a little bit different icon for like one of the triangles and that's how you know where to go. And I guess we just have to update her every single time we find some information. Oh, I hate when you do that. All right, cool. 
Now you'll notice whenever we ping a couple of things will pop up and you'll see a whole bunch of people icons. But the main thing is going to be that purple ring around it. The purple ring sort of signifies that this is the one that you should be focusing on. So we should see a bunch of the regulators around here. <laughs> I like how we just scared that cop completely away from him. Alright, hopefully we can interrogate you. You're going to tell me where I can find Judge Moreno, right? I don't know! But I know we just sold some top-end security equipment. Maybe it was for her. Thanks a lot, jackass. Alright, so before we go and track down the freaks, we got a penguin that we need to track down. Is this the, what the top part of his iceberg lounge looks like? That is cool. This is the first time we actually came around this whole back way. All right, so hold on. You're just waiting outside for us? All right, pal. How's it going on this fine day? Oh, night. Hello, Oswald. You look like you saw a ghost. I mean, I get that a lot, but not from you. No, oh, not at all. Everything's fine. You want a glass of something? You know, lots of people have tried to kill me. One succeeded. But I wasn't expecting you to try to put me in the ground. Oh, no, you don't understand. They showed up with those... talent things. They said they'd tear me to pieces slowly, and I figured, well, you've got none of worse scrapes. Enough. I get it. I hope we can put this behind us. It would be a shame to lose this mutually beneficial business deal we have going. Right now? Just be glad I'm not breaking your nose. Welcome back. Had a good time rubbing elbows with the beautiful people. They're not my type. So, what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point. I like that about you. So, how's about a little partnership? Thanks. I always thought about how I'd run this place. To start, I'm gonna need this office for myself. <laughs> you misunderstand me, friend. As the owner of a respected establishment, I have an interest in keeping the streets safe. You could help. You mean, take out competition? Uh, I'm not in the crime business anymore. So if I came across any unusual gear, I'd be obliged to turn it over. Upstanding citizen that I am. Uh, I'm only doing this because I'm already going after those criminals. Well, that's the spirit. All right, well, it looks like we are working with the penguin. All right, now these guys look like freaks. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. We did have to travel all the way to the very top of the map in order to find these guys, but it looks like this is the right place to go. Oh. All right, we got one view left. We do need to interrogate somebody, so you're the lucky one. Congratulations. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple. What can you tell me about Elena Moreno? You know, the judge. Oh yeah, I heard that all we gotta do is keep her safe from those guys in the bird masks. Easy. Was that so hard? Belfry, Moreno was paying the- If you guys are curious, freaks are up here. This is going to be more the middle territory and this is going to be for the regulators. All right, so it looks like this is where we are needing to be. <laughs> now, I think it's kind of glitched out to where it only shows us the information for Penguin for some reason. Hey, look, more scumbag looking for a beat. All right, so they did bring the freaks in here. I'm not even wanted to target these things. All right, hold on. Well, the rest of these owl guys are dying super quick, so let's just beat up them. And worry about the regular dude afterwards. Woo. 
Alright, so we might have a little bit of an issue here. The court will thank me for killing you, Red. Is the barrel thing dead? I don't think I've killed it yet. I don't see him though, so oh no no no, he's attacking the door. Alright. I'm wondering if this is one of those things where it's like telling us to protect the door or something, but we can't see that. You know, if it would target you like I want. Only death awaits. I don't think Red Hood's the best one to fight these guys. There we go. That's all I needed. <laughs> all right, now I can actually fight you. <laughs> Hello. Are you okay? They were gonna kill me. Just like they killed my brother. Poor Alex. All this because I wouldn't close construction on the Chelsea tunnel? The court doesn't like it when people say no to them. Damn it. They are real. You can help take them down. I've got a warrant for the arrest of their leader. I'll sign it. People like that can't be allowed to terrorize this city. Glad we're on the same page then. Want me to call someone to pick you up? Someone's already on their way. I knew the freaks couldn't keep this up, so I called a friend. Thank you. And good luck, Red Hood. You're welcome. Belfry, Moreno's fine. I got her to sign the arrest warrant, too. Good to know. We'll make sure she stays safe. Alright, so is there any way to, like, force the penguin thing to get off my screen? Reach the Belfry. Alright, there we go. That might fix it. We did manage to save four cops in the night and three citizens rescued. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. Look at this place. Wait, Barbara? What are you doing here? Renee, glad you could make it. Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. <laughs> did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. If you're gonna help us take down Jacob Kane, we need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. Well, I guess you're Nightwing, then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even, like, do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met out of costume. Actually, we've met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. The dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Langstrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. Huh. But that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. Armored facade, anti-aircraft guns on the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. Gotta admit, Pennyworth, I was kind of hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. Hmm. While I'm flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. Hmm.
I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan? Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. We got new intel for the evidence board. A spate of large animal sightings and violent attacks across Gotham. <laughs> that is some wild shit. <laughs> I knew you'd been in it, but damn, Alfred. <laughs> After my last tour, I chose to come to Gotham. That path led me to a life I'd never imagined. Tech-powered street gangs, secret societies, heroes in capes. <laughs> Sounds so ridiculous when you say it out loud. I thought I was done with war. All I did was trade one for another. The combatants change, the battlefronts shift, but the costs still add up. Yeah. We both have the scars to show for it. Bruce blamed himself for your death, and for the darkness that followed. But even in the worst of times, we saw that you had the potential to emerge as a better man. Some days I barely feel human. Let alone a better man. He believed in you and was proud of how far you'd come. Especially after everything you've been through. Thank you for agreeing to... Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.